Materials needed for this experiment. Three transparent glazes filled with water at room temperature. One medicine dropper. Blue, red and yellow food coloring. Salt. Three small containers. Ice cold water and hot water. We are going to see what happens if we toss red colored hot water in the water at room temperature. First, we fill a small container with hot water and then we add a drop of red food coloring in the water. Next, we are going to release some hot red water into a glass of water at room temperature. We can check that hot water doesn't mix with the water at room temperature and stays on the upper part of the water because hot water is less dense than the water at room temperature. Now we are going to repeat the previous step, but in this case we will use cold water. We fill a small container with very cold water and we add a drop of blue food coloring. We are going to release some cold water into a glass of water at room temperature again. Now the cold water goes down because it's more dense than the water at room temperature instead of staying on the upper part of the water. Finally, we are repeating the same, but with hot salty water. We are going to fill a small container with hot water and we add a drop of yellow food coloring and a teaspoon of salt. We are going to release some hot, salty, yellow water into the glass of water at room temperature. The whole salty water, which has yellow food coloring, stays in the middle because hot water is less dense and the salty is denser, thereby its density tends to equalize.